This is a Zenith Combo. It uses a 20XC138 chassis. Uh, it has the solid state tuner stereo. Uh, 23B. Uh, this actually has a 25 AP22, which is the original CRT, which is, happens to be very good in this set. On this one, what I did was I rewired it so that the sound can be played through the stereo. Right now, you'll notice I have this in the tape position. Turn the volume up. And that lets me run the left-right sound from here down to the uh, tape in port on the back. Get much better sound that way. I also have it hooked up so that I'll turn the sound down here all the way. And I still have the stereo here hooked up. What I did was I put the speaker in here. Now this is different from the factory setup. The factory setup, the speaker is not even here. I installed a little 4x6 speaker in there just so that this wouldn't be left open. And I changed the wiring harness so that um, even when the TV is on, the uh, speakers stay engaged to the tuner. The way the factory sets up is when you pull that on switch, there's actually a, uh, a switch inside there that will cause it to... Oh, you notice how the thing just turned bright on the bottom? Watch this. There you go. There's a, This particular model is known for having a bad wire solder joint at the video out tube. I need to fix that. But for this demonstration, I'll continue. So anyway, I put I changed the wiring harness up so that the stereo stays hooked up to the main speakers all the time. And since you can turn the stereo on and the TV on at the same time, that lets you run the tape auxiliary inputs so you can get true stereo sound out of the system. I've got Star Trek in there queued up. I'll turn the volume down here off. I'll turn the volume on here up. And we'll push play. This, this thing really is a lot of fun set up like this. You can really have a nice sound. Uh, it's got the macro vision. Let me turn this thing up. Turn the lights out so we can fully appreciate it. You see the stereo tuner lit up. TV. Getting ready to enjoy uh, Star Trek. Really rocks with this uh, stereo setup using the uh, Zenith Solid State amp, which is a pretty good amp, I might add. It's all hand wired, socketed transistors, big heavy power transformers. picture there. I'm not sure if that's from my uh, connection at the back or what the, what's going on there. But I, I really like to watch movies on this one. With that stereo sound hooked up, it's about as close to a high def theater experience you can get. Anyway, that's a Zenith combo. Of course, has the uh, re this is say I have another Zenith. I've seen in my one of my very first videos. I think was very similar to this. This is the French provincial model. It's great here in the stereo because this movie was obviously recorded in stereo. Let me turn it down a little bit. The, the movie was clearly recorded in stereo, so. Uh, Using the uh, DVD for left-right drive is definitely the way to go. This is what makes it sound is just great. The uh, when they that they use a 6T10 audio tube to drive those two speakers. This sounds surprisingly good. That's due to the efficiency of the speakers, but. Uh, you don't get the you don't get the stereo effect that way.
Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the movie. Just thought I'd share this one with you. Thank you very much. A little follow-up to that interference I was getting on the picture. I remember now, after having played this for a while, having that VCR sit on top of the TV actually causes that interference to the picture. You see it's completely clear now, so just something to remember, to keep in mind of. Maybe you ought to put up some aluminum foil on the bottom of that uh, top. Might be able to shield it from whatever it is that that, that uh, DVD player is putting out. Anyway, much better now. Get back to the movie. Thanks.